The question that's on my lips is, oh gosh. does the size of your balls really matter? Hey guys. And how are you? Yes, how are you? No, I'm okay, how are you? I'm fine. And how are you? Well, welcome <laughs> to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. And we continue on a really fun phase. Yes. You hopefully saw our Pride episode from earlier. Yeah. That was a collaboration with a bunch of wonderful, talented artists, yes. all from YouTube. Please go check them all out. And a playlist that is in our episode yeah there's a second part to that on friday yep. so please go catch those also um i created some art this week that we ate oh yes or that we're in the process of eating oh my God, it's so good. let me flash a little bit of my art yes. up here for you right now this is a delicious english trifle it is but it looked like a layered cup <laughs> the way so that we laid delicious it. it was it is great it's going yeah, to last yeah. you a week um, if eating that one, maybe not. Maybe yeah. three days. It's a shame our Uncle Arik isn't here with us. <laughs> oh, God. He, he would have it would be gone in a minute. Polished it off in one go. Oh, yeah. But yeah, just something fun. When people say to us, that's not art, my response is usually art is everywhere. Art is in what you decide to wear, yes. in what we do in the studio, in exactly. what you cook. Yes. You know, a meal can be art. And I think that dessert might be too. Yes. Anyway, to today's episode, my the question that is on my lips today. What is it? The question that's on my lips is, oh, gosh. does the size of your balls really matter? Oh, that's the question that's on my lips. And I'll be answering that question throughout my pour. Jeremy, what are you doing? I'm going to be doing something extra special today, mm. something that I haven't done before that mm. I'm really excited about doing, mm -hmm. and it is going to be a surprise. Okay, and it's inspired by a very special lady yes. who was in the club with us, and we've yeah. seen her at Fluid Art Experience, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be fun. Yes. Quick little, men little mention, Fluid Art Experience Dallas, yes. live, up and running, link in the description box, and also a real awesome opportunity to go and spend some time with Jeremy yes, on and the lake. Kathleen in a lake in Washington, just 12 people invited to the lakeside retreats. Yeah. It's an opportunity to pour, to chat, to learn, to oh eat some amazing food curated Absolutely. by a personal chef. Yes. Um, the whole experience is just five star. Yeah. It's totally relaxing by the lake whenever we're not painting yeah you know eating s'mores over oh fireplaces gosh. it's yeah. it's concierged it is you are catered to the whole time yes. food and drink and pouring and supplies and yeah. bedding and everything is taken care everything. of so please go check that link out there are only a couple of spots yeah some people have actually had to change weekends and so a couple came back and a couple have got yeah. Please go grab them before they're all gone. Yes. Because it's going to be amazing. It's going to be uh, amazing. All right. I'm going to continue on Pride Colors. Happy Pride to you all. Yes. Let's get to the table. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, well, hello there, ladles and jelly spoons. <laughs> Say hello to everyone, oh, Jezebel. Well, hi. Hi. <laughs> so um, I hope you joined us this afternoon mm. for our wonderful Pride collab yes. pause. If you did join us, you will have seen these squeezy bottles of paint, little 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 balls of joy, I'm going to call them. <laughs> um, in those bottles of paint, which are the colours of the pride flag, mm -hmm. um, what I've got is a pouring medium, which is made up of three things, glue, water and float roll. Mm -hmm. And that's 60% glue, 40% water as part A, so that's 60% glue, 40% water, that's part A. And then part B is the same volume of Floetrol. So if you had 100 grams of part A, that would be 60 grams of glue, 40 grams of water, making 100 grams. Yes. And you mix that with 100 grams of Floetrol. So yes. that would be 200 grams in total. So that's your pouring medium for this pour. And then that's mixed the pouring medium to acrylic paint two to one. So these bottles held 12 ounces of mixture 
that was four ounces of paint, eight ounces of pouring medium, and that was this recipe. Nice. Now that's Fozia's recipe for doing her flowers, Yeah. but I'm gonna use it to do something a little different. Oh, okay. Um, 18 by 14 inch canvas? 16 by 18. No. No? I don't think there is such a thing. Oh. Uh, I believe this one is a 14 by 18 inch canvas. Oh, yeah, there you go. It is, it's an, <laughs> it's an edge, it's a Jerry's Artorama. Uh, Jeremy backed and pinned it for me. Thank yes. you, show pony. Looks beautiful. And on this canvas, I'm gonna do a little experiment. You are. I'm gonna really experiment to see if the size of your balls really does matter <laughs> in a marbling pour. Hmm. And I have two balls here. One that is a little larger, and one that is a little smaller. And I'm going to use them both and see what happens on this canvas. Yeah. Jeremy, do you have an idea of your preference? Do you prefer a bigger ball or a smaller ball on a marbling pour? A marbling pour, I like to use probably the bigger one because yeah. it moves easier through the paint, um, unless your paints are thin. So some would say you're a size queen oh, when Jesus. it comes to the size of your balls in a marbling pour. That's what you're saying. I okay. Guess. I'm not <laughs> sure I have a preference. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to see. This one is definitely a little larger, a little heavier. This one is more akin to like the normal marble size. I've seen people use golf balls. Oh yeah. Mina, I think used even something bigger than a golf ball. Did she know she used golf balls? So um, yeah, we're gonna see if the size of your ball really does matter and, and if that creates a different composition. Nice, I can't wait to see this. Happy Pride, everyone. Uh, and I am using the Pride colors. So um, I'm going to puddle my colors on this canvas, Okay. then use the marble to wreck it. All right. I've got some white. Now this is exactly the same consistency as the colors in the bottles, yeah. but it's just my white. Now, I'm not gonna worry quite so much about covering the whole canvas and the edges, because as you'll all know, if you've ever done one of these pours, we're going to tilt this bad boy out once we are done puddling. Yes. So all I'm gonna do is really just spread this out just to make sure that there's a somewhat even-ish coverage. You know, I was thinking something. Oh my goodness, what were you thinking? Instead of doing puddles, why don't you do like, you know, like thick lines? Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why don't you do that on your pour? Uh, no, because I'm doing something else. All right, well then get off my jock, <laughs> big boy. I already know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Listen, do. My, I'm gonna do my puddles. I can be bossy show pony. <laughs> you, yes, you definitely can. One thing I was going to ask you, but I might not now as you All inserted right. yourself into my pour. What I, what I was gonna ask you is, how many puddles do you think I should do? There is, there is a fine line. There is a fine line. Too many puddles and it looks messy, too few, and there's not enough color. I think you should do five. Oh, like one, two, three, four, five, yep. like a number five domino? Yep. No, dice. Dice. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's dominoes as well, right? I don't know. Yeah, five dominoes, I, I guess. I, I've never played dominoes. <laughs> Why? Because it's dominoes. You're old. Old people play dominoes. Uh, Why not? All right, let's get to puddling on here. Let me count one, two, three. Jeremy, do you want to get your phone out? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. I'm going to continue doing that with these wonderful pride colors. One, two, three. One, two, I'm gonna wait three. Until you get a few more colors one, on there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Well, I was wondering whether you wanted to do that for the people that are watching at home because it's going to be really boring seeing me do this from above because they won't be able to see what's going on. So thank you for that, for giving everyone the gift of sight at home. Oh, there's a fly right there. All right, that's three colors down. I'm now going to add a little layer of white. Why am I doing that, show pony? Uh, it's an isolation layer. Because the next color is? Orange. Orange, you're glad I didn't say banana. I mean, is it orange or is it yellow? No. It is uh, orange, right? Yeah, it's orange. I think so. Well, you know what? It's going to be what it is. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I think three. it was yellow, orange, red. One, two, three. But it's okay. One, two, three. Not in this one. One, two, three. Uno, dos, tres. It's inspired by the Pride Board. Jeden, dva, tři. Eins, zwei, drei. 
and I don't know another language to count it three in. Oh, I could have done now. One, two, three. 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 All right, and I'm going to do one more layer in exactly the same should. way. I think you should. I might do two more, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Two more puddles. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like there's a lot of white. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? I'm not mad about that because when I come to marble them, I'm wondering whether it's going to integrate them more. Or you know what you could do is just take some of your paint and swirl it like through the white around it. Well, that sounds very messy. I mean, not like big, you know. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that show pony. Okay. You know, like order to my chaos. I know. And I just go for it. You do. I need to balance this table out. No, well, you know, I think part of this is also the canvas. I'm wondering whether you sprayed this one. I did. You did, so it's nice yeah. and tight. It's nice and tight. Uh, yeah, it's the, it's, uh, it that was, side's off. It's funny because when I looked at it with the level, it was right. Okay, all right. I got some puddles. They look like pride fried eggs. They do. On the canvas. Um, let's torch this real quick. Show Pony, which, which ball should I start with? Should I start with a large ball or should I start with a smaller ball? Start with the smaller one. You think? Yeah. And then work our way up. Yeah, absolutely. So one thing that I know has happened in previous marbling pause before mm -hmm. where you use a marble on the canvas is that it'll leave a divot in the paint and I'm wondering if the bigger ball will do that so um, that's one thing to watch out for yeah. and I'm also going to watch to see what impact the bigger marble has on the wrecking of the puddles sure. too so I'm going to go like just one or two passes with this ball just okay. to see what happens and then we're going to swap it out straight away okay okay so this is the smaller of the two balls the ball that Jeremy prefers least because he likes big balls so I'm going to use the smaller one and we're going to see what happens those balls are very smooth they're very smooth but they're marbles yeah <laughs> Stupid. All right, you know what time it is? It is tilting time. I'm going to play with my balls and it's tilting time. So you let's sure are. tilt this bad boy out. That's actually really pretty. All right, so that was just a quick little pass with the smaller of the two marbles. Now I'm gonna put the big marble on. I'm gonna say that for me, that was the perfect size. Yeah. Um, I feel like it, it fitted perfectly on the canvas. I feel like it gave us the right kind of indentations in the colors, but in the, in the you know, spirit of experimentation, we're gonna see if the big ball has any different kind of impact. Got it. So I'm going to put this one right here. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's see what happens. So I wanted to get a little bit of white. 
on here. So look, see, this is what I yeah, see. I so see. the bigger marble, if you can see, is definitely leaving the trail. Yeah, I think it's because it's heavier and therefore it's kind of touching the bottom of the canvas where the other marble was lighter and didn't have quite the same effect. But it's still a pretty effect. It's not, it's not horrible. The colors are just kind of blending a little bit more. Yeah. And the colors are then sinking back on to each other. So here's my thought. The size of your balls does matter. It does. The heavier the balls, the more weight and the more of an indentation it gives you yes. in, in the composition. Absolutely. The lighter your balls, I guess it's a little tighter and, and it doesn't have quite such an impact on the paint. Exactly. Yeah. So um, I, I'm going to conclude that there actually is a reason why the size of your balls will make a difference on this technique. So all I'm going to do right here is just make sure that all my gaps now are all filled in. Because Chopin, you know what time it is now. It is tilting time. It is. I've removed my balls off the table and I'm going to now get to tilt. I'm glad you're done playing with your balls. I, well, I, I'm not sure. I can't promise that I've actually finished playing with my balls, but, but, but I've taken them off the canvas. Oh God. Yeah, it's cool. I really like it too. I've done a few of these before, but this is definitely my favorite. I'm not sure why though, but I think it's because it felt like the right amount of paint to white. It felt like the right amount of wrecking with the ball. So here's my thought. I actually think that two balls are better than one. I do too. I feel like the two different sized balls actually gave a different composition. Yes. The smaller of the two balls definitely wrecked those lines a little cleaner, 
but the bigger of the two balls kind of left more of blending and indentation, yeah. which then kind of created some kind of something fun to look at, something fun on the canvas. Yeah. So uh, here's my thoughts, guys. Use two balls. Why, why, why choose one over the other? Right. Use them both, I would say, equally. And I think that you'll get something really fun. I love this. I'm going to scrape my edges. I'm going to torch this off one last time and I'm going to take you guys in for a close up. Yeah, it was fun watching you play with your balls. Thank you, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Hey guys. I have no clue what you're doing. O-M-G. I have no clue whatsoever. Well, it's Jeremy here, first of all. It is. And I have this interesting toy here. And what this pouring toy is, it is an oil funnel. Okay. Um, and I love how long it is because of what I'm gonna do with it. Okay. Where did you get this idea from? Um, actually, I... It's from Britt Clayton, no? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yes, Britt Clayton. Yes. Yes, 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 that is exactly yeah. who I got this idea from. I remember that. Yeah. Because I remember you watching it and you'd be like, I've yeah. got an idea. So I don't think she the, yeah. did exactly this. She didn't, but it's, it inspired me to do this. Yeah, so thank you for the yeah. inspiration, Brick Plate and yeah, Brick Plate Design. I remember that now. Yeah. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to very gently hold this in the center of the cup, like so, and then I'm going to pour layers around it. Okay. And then I'm going to pour a really cool bright color in the center and then I'm gonna slowly pull it up as it you know leaks into the cup so you kind of want it to be like one of those ice creams that have the core in the middle you want you want kind of, yes. you want the, the color you put in the funnel to be in the middle of the composition exactly and then what are you gonna do with the cup I'm gonna do a ring pour with it huh. yeah okay okay yeah. All right. I'm, I'm intrigued to see if it makes any difference whatsoever. It sounds like a lot of work <laughs> for something that might not actually have any impact. We shall see. But we will. We, we will. Shall we will. See. Do you, what do you need me to do? Do you need me to hold anything, or how are you going to do this? No, I think I can. I think I can actually hold it like this right. while, while I pour in the, the colors. Because colors. you only need to pour the colors down one side because it will naturally exactly. just level anyway. Exactly. All right. Do you want me to take the stir sticks out of these pots for you? Yes, please. Otherwise, you'll be struggling. All do right, wanna, guys. Do you want to tell everyone the colors as you put them in the funnel? Yes. Okay. And what color is going in the middle of the funnel, just so that I know? Oh, it's that uh, um, green gold. Okay. But I added some gold to it. So, okay. All right. Yes. So I'm going to... I I know that it's going to be hard to keep that funnel in the middle because you're going to be moving it as you like reach for the colors and all that kind of stuff. So I'm yep. going to put these here. For I'm going to you. put the colors on this side over okay. here because plan, it'll plan. be easier for me to grab them. I'm just trying to make this as easy on you as possible. Okay. So and then I need the gold and I need the green gold. Okay. So. So holding the funnel in the middle of the yes. cup is, as much as you can, okay. Yes, and, yes, but you're yes. not going to put that colour in until the very end. Yes. Okay, the one that goes in the funnel. Yes. All exactly. right, it's kind of made, it's, it's getting crystal clear now, clear as mud. All right, let's try it. Going with some pearl white first. Okay, is, if there's, is this, I guess it's impossible, but I cannot see the colours that you're putting into the cup. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so this is a custom colour. It is the... Prussian blue okay. with like, I think it's like a cobalt Got blue. It. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that in here. So guys, what you're focusing on on this side view is those colors leaching around the funnel. Yes. What's that one? This is like, I think this was Naples yellow deep. And some pearl white, think, cause it's got a shimmer to it. I think pearl white, yeah. Okay. I think that's what it was. Phalo turquoise. Phalo turquoise. And then I'm going to go in with this Azo Gold. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the Naples Yellow Light again, or 
Okay. And then I'm going to go in with this one. Again. I love the colors. The colors Thank together you. are just beautiful. It's very southwestern. I think everyone. I know. I really, say. I really, really like this. You know, and I'm going to go in with sharp pearl. Sharp pearl. It's kind of cute what's happening to the colors in the cup. As you can see, it's kind of like bending them around the funnel. Right. Now I notice you've used like one of our testing canvases. It's a, yes. It's an 11 by 14 inch. It it's is just a level a, two though. It's a level two. It right. is a level two. Um, I do love these colors. More turquoise, more turquoise. More turquoise? Okay, hold on. And you might want to think about stopping. Yeah? Well, only because this only really needs six or seven ounces of paint and you've got that 16 ounce cup there. Yeah, I didn't even use the gold. No, good. I'm glad because okay. you've got gold in the green. green. Gold. Yeah. Yeah. Which you're now about to put in. Yes. Whoops. Yes. All I right. Am. So okay. now you're pouring yes. the green gold into your funnel. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. And then now you're... I'm going to lift up and then I'm going to catch it with, uh, with a cup. All right, guys. So I got my green gold in there. Let's go ahead and start lifting this up. And you're lifting this slowly, you said? Yes. Okay. Yes. So. It's going. It's going. It's going. It's going. It's going. And... Yes. Wow. It really so did. So cool, right? It cored. It put a core in the center of your paw. Yes. Just like one of those ice creams. Yes. So. I see you very proud of yourself, show pony. And as you should be, because I feel like that was the, that was the, the plan that you were going for. Yes. Okay. It was. Okay, guys. So now that I have my delicious cup here, mm -hmm. I'm going to put this aside and I'm actually going to do an entire base coat. Because you definitely need more than the 16 ounces oh, yeah, of no. paint that you've Actually, got in no. that part. I'm just going to put, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to, yes, I'm going to go in with. You could cover this canvas four times over with what you've right. got in there, Chopin. Totally. But if you feel like it's necessary for the composition, then you do I, it. I don't. Okay. I don't. Let's just go ahead and do it. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. I am in love with those colors. Me too. All right guys, now it's time for my flow extender. All right everyone, I can already see the green gold. Like I can see it all over the place. I am so excited about this. You know what time it is? I don't know what time it is. Well, I know what time it is, but I'm excited to see how this one stretches I out know, as well. Too. Yeah. So it is 2.41. Yes. Which is? Tilting time. Let's tilt this bad boy out. All right, let's do it. I'm going to turn it around first You turn of all. that around, show pony. I am.
Wow, wow, wow. I love it, I love it, I love it. Do you love it? I do. Uh, I, I like love it the subtle hints of that green gold that are all through it. It's so incredible, I think. I I love that I did this technique. I mean, look at the cells of yeah. that green gold. It's like, so cool. So what I'm not sure about is if I'm seeing the green gold or if I'm seeing the turquoise next to that yellow light with the pearl no. in it. Look right here. Yeah. Look at that big stripe and all right here. Yeah, but and it's like next to the phalo. No, it's not. No? No. Okay. No. I, I see a lot of shimmer when that has to be the green gold in yeah. it. Yeah. And I love the green gold cells that are mm. absolutely popping up in it. So the green gold is there for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I, re I really, really do like it. I love it's it. It's just hard to see it, like where it is. Okay. You know, is what I think. So next time I should use a brighter color. I don't know, or maybe a darker color if it was brighter colors in the cup, maybe. I don't True. know. True. Yeah, but it was definitely, uh, there is something to explore here for sure. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to play with this a little mm. bit more. Yeah. But I do love this piece. I love so. the colors. They're oh so my God, it's so beautiful. I'm going to have to yeah. remember this color palette. Nicely done, show pony. Thank you. Ta-da. What are you going to do next? I'm going to clean up my edges. I'm going to torch it one more time, and we're going to take you guys in for a close-up. Let's do it. Let's do it. There you have it. That's exactly what he was saying. There say. you have it. <laughs> Just thought of something in my head that I can't say because it is YouTube, but it was in the same vein as the rest of my Gosh, little poll. Oh my God. Ah, listen, <laughs> we did actually do something like this not that long ago. It's one of our, yeah. our most watched episodes, surprisingly or not, as right. the case may be. Yeah. Um, so Jeremy, yes. does the size of your balls matter? It does. It, it do well, it definitely gives yeah. you different compositions. It does. As you'll see right down here underneath Jeremy. Um, the smaller balls definitely didn't sink to the bottom of the canvas, so therefore didn't leave that divot of paint, yeah. which then didn't swallow itself back up again, so there wasn't quite so much blending. Yeah. The bigger, heavier balls definitely were leaving that divot. Yeah, they were just pulling the paint right off the canvas. Absolutely, it but actually in the end, the two compositions actually really complemented. Really I, I liked it. Yeah. That was definitely what I believe to be my so most successful marbling pour. I'm gonna have to agree. And the reason for me is because just the right amount of paint, just right amount of negative space, right amount of wrecking, right amount of tilting, it all just came together. Yeah. So yeah, I really enjoyed that one. Jeremy. Yeah. Sh Jeremy. 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 Wow. Hmm. Might have been, <laughs> might have had a bit too much of that sherry trifle. <laughs> Jeremy. Wow. Show pony and Jeremy. Jeremy. <laughs> what did you think of your experiment? Um, I absolutely Loved it. Okay. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Okay. And I thought it came out stunning. It was a success to me. Okay. I love the colors that I chose. They all worked really well together. The green gold has popped up mm -hmm. in like all these different places. Little cells. Oh gosh, mm -hmm. and little cells. Um, 
Yeah, I think it, I thought it was a huge success. It was fun doing. I really enjoyed the outcome of it. I love the color choices that you chose. I'm struggling to see the green gold in the rings, but I see it all over the painting. Yeah. So I, I definitely think there's a ways in which you can kind of make it more visible. Okay. But I think that's going to be in the color choices. Yeah. But I loved this piece and the color comp comp compositions. Oh my God. The color choices are really awesome. Have you been drinking? No, I think I need a drink. <laughs> really great color choices. Thank you. That's what I was trying to say. Got it. Couldn't get the words out. Yeah, really, really enjoyed it. Thank you for trying that. And I'm sure you'll try it again. Oh yeah, absolutely. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. Another Wednesday episode two for us today. The Pride collab earlier, this one this afternoon. Thank you for being here with us in the chat if you are. There's 3,000 more people here than there was just a few weeks ago. Yeah. So thank you for being here with us. We really appreciate you. There's been a couple of really great uh, watched videos. So thank you so much. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of Pride Month. You'll see a lot of rainbow pours from everyone. Um, and we'll see the train on Friday. Yes. For the rest of the collab for Pride. And then we'll be back here again next Wednesday. Yes. So please come and join us then. Have a great week, everyone. One more thing. Oh my God. If you would like to, our Patreon group is amazing. We have a, a WhatsApp group that we all talk to each other on. Okay. And yours truly does his own little videos specifically for the patrons. The patrons. Absolutely. Some patron exclusive content that Jeremy yeah. puts out fairly regularly now. And I don't show it to anybody else. You don't. I'm going to say this. Our Patreon account has gone up and down in terms of activity and yeah. kind of the amount of information we've put out onto it. Basically, just because of the way that our own personal lives have kind of gone up and down Crazy. too. Yeah. Yeah. So um, if you are still here with us on the Patreon account, thank you. We hope that you'll see a lot more activity and have been over the last few months. Yeah. But please come and join us on there too because there's a oh lot of God, fun. So much fun. All right, Jeremy, let's let these lovely people go. Okay. We will see you back here on a Wednesday on our channel and hopefully we'll see you on Friday in the Pride Collab. Yes. Bye guys. Bye guys. Thank you. See you soon.